by Kane. She also has a GoFundMe to help her and her roommate relocate after losing their apartment. Please support and donate. QR codes are being passed around right now. Please give it up for your next act, Mariposa! Hi everybody, I gotta do a little bit of setup. Give me just a moment. Cheering yeah. is very appropriate, very appropriate. Love you. Love Sorry. you. <laughs> okay. That's not the cue. <laughs> okay. Oh, When you work in day night life, you see it all. The jokesters, the dancers, <laughs> the singers, the sex workers, yes. the dopers and the drunks. <laughs> I've detached the music stand. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my job is just babysitting adults. I'm going up to grown men and asking them not to bathe indoors. Wow. Cleaning up vomit on New Year's when the clock strikes 12 on midnight. And that's just my basic day to day. Sometimes people bump buglies in our bathrooms. There was one time that I found piss from a jokester in the corner of our green room. And this is at Heaven Bar, mind you, not to be confused with any other sort of theater bar out there. <laughs> I like the teeth if I'm being honest. <laughs> As you can see, Michaelmas is the talk of the town. <laughs> it's my first time attending in over 50 years. It makes sense considering the overlap emerging between heaven and snow. Though I do fear that Keely may poach the best of my eggs. <laughs> Though, if that were to happen, I would have his son Michael in yeah. my back kitchen washing discs. One must be certain I can go toe to toe with the well offs. But I must admit, I'm a bit nervous, and that's why I came down here to the Gossip Lab to get my story gay. And a couple hot stories yeah. going in the crock pot right now. One of them is called King, the other is called Queen, and then there's a third untitled project about death because of course there is. King is my top priority. The universe is ever-expanding and rapidly. It operates as a place where every idea works. Though I truly struggle to determine who it is writing this piece. At times, it comes down to three people. There are Tom, Michael, and Gabriel. 
Tom. Tom is prolific. He'll give his soul to anybody who will hire him. It's not enough to be dancing and whipping wind on the snell. He needs to be the face of Show Pony and its top contributor and have his own podcast. He needs his face and name known by all. And by dog, he shall have it. And next, next we have Michael. I can't find his name tag. Doesn't matter. Michael, Michael is preordained by blood to become the next king of comedy. And this succession by blood leaves him completely unmotivated. If he is to be king, he must come to it by his own accord. The true question lies. Who is thy enemy, Michael? We both know his name. Please say it out loud. Michael! And last, we have Gabriel. Oh. <laughs> Gabriel, he may be the center of it all. His message goes gay onto the page. Hunger in his eyes, ferocity close to his chest. Courage in his feet. Admire the glorious biology of this man. Yes, I, I do think that Gabriel may be the center of this all, but then I remember there's Michael. And then every now and then I'm slapped in the face again with the idea that Tom may be the main thread after all. Though anyone familiar with rhizome theory understands that story can exist as decentralized, interconnected multiplicities of which there is no discernible hierarchy. I think this is the way things are. I think this describes the very state of our beings. The grand futility of mankind is this endless pursuit to prove that you are better than anyone else while faced with the day-to-day -day reality. <laughs> that you are better than no one. Take me for example. I am a woman who bows down to no king nor God. And for this reason, I believe that I am better than anyone who does. But there I am, the same as everyone else, believing that I am better than anyone. Our worst moments differ in detail, but it is pain where we align. The goal is not to win a prize. It's not to be precise. The goal is a state of being, for our time is meant to be shared. Crank it. You're scared, crank it. Walk on down the hall! This is our process of writing. Yes, son. <laughs> I like to think of a moment to think about what I write. Some people like to put the words down and never think about it again. I think a lot about what I write. This story is a dream. Running down a desert road, near the horizon, a hallucination of memorable characters. If Tom shall have it, this ends with Tom falling in love with Michael. He's always had the hots for him. One might even say that his work addiction is a manifestation of his desire to be loved by someone like Michael. And if it's to be Michael, if Michael this ends in patricide, that's right, Michael kills his own father. That's the only end he sees possible. And if Gabriel, if Gabriel, the snell shall burn to the ground. The zoo roof will be dust. 
That's just how he sees it. You now see how I struggle to find an end. When I run out of answers, I give myself to the Spirit. I shall attend my commiss, and fate shall be determined. Entrust yourself to this moment, I say. Steady your heart and never let sway. Michaelmas, a holy day once forgotten, a celebration for all not rotten. Be who you are, a lover and an artist. May you reap what you sow at our great harvest. Sell yourself, see what you make. All that you give is all that you take. Come winter you shall scar, ration or feast. Gather all you can while the wheels are greased. Whispers spread like vine. Vipers hug you from behind. Eat this, Lord Michael. Answer the call when the phone rings, for the zoo room is filled with fools and kings. down in the gossip lab, near the north end of the tunnels. Maury, do you have any gossip about anyone in the comedy scene? <laughs> Honey, I got more than you could ever dream to learn. Maury, what can people do with that QR, QR code that's getting passed around? Oh, that QR code? One like that one right there? Or maybe this one? What you can do is you can scan that QR code and you can donate to our GoFundMe so that we can find a new place to live. Maury, what's the most annoying thing about me as a roommate? It's the dishes, you cunt! I think the most annoying thing about you is you have so many cute things in your closet and you won't let me borrow them. Perhaps we can change that. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.